Hello traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. After ending last week with 545, which means five closing sessions at record high each day, stocks gave back some ground during trading yesterday on Monday. Now, the pullback in the S&P 500 was still a relatively mild 0.4%, but it has been so long since we have seen steady pressure that it felt worse than it was. Actually, after holding near the unchanged mark for most of the session, losses accelerated late in the session, especially in the last hour. So investors went out of the day with a sour taste and Let's see if that pullback continues today. Each of the major war switching indexes retreated from a record. They weighted down by a drop in technology and industrial shares. First of all, the FANG stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, which dropped 1.7% on average. And then came General Electric GE, which was down 6.3%, suffering its biggest one-day decline in more than six years. And that was after a host, a host of brokerages cut their price targets on the stock after a bad miss on Friday. Now, that is, you know, really unfortunate for GE investors as they saw the stock opening Friday with a huge plunge of about 7% just to make a great rebound that usually is saved only for stars. And it was able to finish Friday even with mild gains. Yesterday, it gave most of the rebound back. So looking uh, on the market, uh, on the big picture, on one hand, the market is very extended on the daily chart overbought. On the other hand, we have a very strong trend and momentum that takes everything that gets in its way and don't dismiss it. The market has tremendous momentum right now and it is rolling over anyone and anything that is in its way. The momentum is built on one assumption that President Donald Trump will be able to push through the big tax reform in US history. Let's hope for the sake of gains, for the sake of performance in 2017, that he is going to deliver. Otherwise, you know what they say, what goes up must go down. All right, trade of the day, and in this section of trade of the day, it's not about bragging or showing off, but a learning opportunity for you guys just to see what I'm doing as a professional day trader with more than 18 years of expertise in Wall Street. Now, one of the things our traders can't wait for every day is our trading report, which directs them every day in the best places to be in Wall Street. One of the important tables in our report is the earnings calendar, which features key companies that deliver their earnings each day. Now, take a look with me on that table. The first on is Arconic, A-R-N-C, A-M, which means it's it was going to post its earnings ahead of the start yesterday. And we even bold these companies. Now, ARNC therefore was first on my screen, and even though it started, you know, without unusual gap, remember that those companies hold conference calls throughout the day, and many surprising things may be revealed there, which may drive the stock crazy, up or down. So it's not only to be focused on the gappers, but also on the stocks that um, are holding conference calls. ARNC opened a little higher, but um, posted two huge five-minute bars on the downside, as you can see right now. That means early in the morning, you already have a bias. You already know the direction of the stock. And for me, there is now a big flashing banner to go short on the stock. Just give me the excuse to do so. It's just a matter of timing right now. The stock started to correct a little bit from the round number $26 
and after coming back down I shorted it just below the round number 40 minutes into trading with a small stop loss just over 26.17 which was the high of the previous 5 minute bar and the support 4 of the pivot point system. From there it just continued its plunge ending the day down more than 6% with a downtrend all day a great trade with $1.7 at the end of uh, the day per share put on your screens those key companies which post their earnings they hold huge potential for your trades. Hot stocks on the radar and lots of earnings are due later this week with some important ones like Google, Facebook, Amazon and Microsoft. Also later this week we have a couple of IPOs that are going to be movers. We will get to them um, later this week. After hours, yesterday it was WHR Whirlpool which tumbled more than 6.55% after the company posted worse than expected third quarter earnings and cut guidance. Now cutting guidance is a nightmare, is the worst curse an investor can hear from a company he holds so definitely WHR is going to be on my screen to get today together with other stocks in our lists of stocks on the radar put them on your screens. Have a great trading day, guys. I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.